Hello everyone, welcome back for another episode of Camp Farloon. I have to warn you about this one. We are reaching the part of the game that contained the most disturbing scene in the game. It's just after one of the diary pages, so proceed with cautions if you are easily disturbed. Drop a like and let's see what happened in this episode. Oh man, that's disgusting. But what's that under his head? I'm sure he wouldn't mind a little push. So, what have we here? It's a set of resident reports, maybe they'll come in useful. Mm, damn, Windows 3.1. Unless I want to wear a Camp Sunshine uniform, there's nothing in here. I found an alphabet block. Why the hell is there a crib in storage, though? found a diarrhea page, let's see what it says. 21st June 1964. I'm so sorry, we couldn't do anything to save her. It's almost like she took one look at your son, and her heart stopped. Nurse Johnson, that is not something that should be said. I'm sorry, I've never seen anything like this before. The only condolence we have is that your son is very healthy. You should take some solace in that. We'll leave you for a little while. Again, we're sorry for your loss. Isaac. Oh, Isaac, what are we going to do? We have to stay here for three days so they can teach me how to take care of you. But why do I sense no sadness in your eyes? My beautiful Wendy, I don't know how I will go on without you here. How can this happen to us, to a new family? 
I promise you I will do everything I can to make sure Isaac is looked after. I'll keep your hospital bracelet close to remind me of you every day. You gave me everything. I love you and always will. Hmm. Why is it that Wendy's hospital bracelet really sticks out to me in this page? I guess I should hold on to it. June 1964. In the name of God, the Merciful Father, we commit the body of Wendy Illerman to the peace of the grave. From dust you came, and to dust you shall return. I shall leave you for a moment. Please stop by the church if you would like to talk. My beautiful Wendy, I can't believe you are gone. You were my absolute everything. I stayed and talked with the priest until night fell. He made me realize that with his mother gone, Isis will need me more than ever. aren't on this map. Well, hello. What have we here? It's a freaky voodoo doll looking thing. It's mine now. It's a fire, looks hot. Hey there, kid. What are you doing out here? It's not safe, you know? Yeah, I guess that. How are you still alive? I'm fine. I've just finished my 18th cup of coffee, and I'm pretty sure I can see Wi-Fi. I tell you what, this weird page I got here made me scared. A page? Do you mean a diarrhea page? Sure do, Sunshine. Can I have it? Not so fast, Moonbeam. If you want it, you'll have to earn it. For another person who needs my help, what do I need to do? You see, there's these fires that I've been having trouble putting out. Every time I think I've got them all, they keep coming back. It's weird. I think they are something to do with this whole bear thing. Although that could be the coffee. How the hell are you not afraid? Us also. Even weirder is that I've timed them, and for some weird reason, they all reignite after four minutes. It seem a very specific time. Maybe if you can put them all out, I'll let you have this here page. Fantastic, the fires are spread around these woods. There's one of them to the north, one of them to the northeast, two of the buggers to the south, and one just to the east of here. Then here, take this fire extinguisher and walkie-talkie so I can let you know how it's going. Now go, hurry up, sunshine. I found the toolbox. I need to get it back to that guy who's trapped. You did it. Thank you so much. Now I just need another cup of coffee and I'll be faster than light. So can I have that diarrhea page? Oh yeah, of course. Here you go, Moonbeam. I found a diarrhea page. Let's see what it says. 30th of June, 1964. I am back at camp with Isaac and the first batch of children have just arrived for the summer. It's just Isaac and I and we're getting along fine. Although I miss Wendy with every fiber of my being. Welcome campers. We're so happy you're here with us at Camp Sunshine. My son Isaac and I are stopping by every cabin to make sure you are all settling in okay. Remember, tomorrow morning there will be a fantastic welcome meeting in the auditorium. Please stop by. Any questions? What time is Lights Out? Lights Out is at 9 p.m. anymore. Do you have extra storage for our pantsuits? Um, no. Last one? I'm allergic to peanuts. That's not a question, Tommy. Thank kids and I'll see you tomorrow morning. 
later that night. What the hell, not again? It has to be the campers messing around. Who the hell is making all that racket? That's strange. What's this book about the history of Big Bear doing here? There's a history book. It could hold more answers. They're all fast asleep. This is getting weird. Finally, some warmth. Thank you. Now take your horrible letter thing. It's in the cupboard there. I found a diarrhea page. Let's see what it says. 26th of June, 1965. Here I am at the start of the second summer season at Big Bear, and in all honesty, hoping for a normal, rational six weeks. Another year, another set of campers all checked in. I'll be glad to see Isaac after all that work. Chumana, what's going on? I thought I told you about this mumbo-jumbo stuff. I'm sorry, Mr. Jacob. As I explained before, I am only protecting your son. There is absolutely nothing to fear. I'm not afraid. I'd just rather Isaac not be put through any undue stress. He's been through enough. You just need to stop it, and please stop placing those beads around Isaac's neck. He'll choke. Chumana's beads seem important. Maybe they hold more clues to what the hell is going on. I understand, Mr. Jacob. I'll attend to tonight's menu. We have mutton stew and fry bread. There's my little man. Have you had a good day? At least you look happy. Hello? Illerman residence. Mr. Illerman, the delivery from the butchers has just arrived. I'll be right there, Karen. Chumana. I have to leave to help out at the camp. See you shortly. Two hours later. There, that's the sauce done. Now to get the meat I put away earlier. All of this is hard work. We should consider hiring a cook. What the hell? I just put all this away two hours ago, and now it's completely rotten. Something is definitely wrong. Where am I? Hang on, what's this? This is weird. Welcome, Jez. What the hell? Who are you and why do you know my name? This is not important. I have summoned you here as we need your help. You need my help, I need yours. Then perhaps we can help each other. We have seen that you are seeking out the diarrhea pages and we want to offer our services to stop this madness. We have sensed a dark spirit growing in power. One who will stop at nothing to be reborn into this world. The key to stopping this bloodshed is to discover the diarrhea pages and the items mentioned within them. Like the beads that Chumana was wearing. These hold memories that this monster simply cannot ignore. We hope that these will ensure the path to its destruction. Once you have found them all, bring them back to me so that I can transform them into their sacred form. This way we can stop this. What? Sacred? Only you can do this. Only a true hero could have survived this long. Take this necklace, wear it close so that we may continue to watch your progress. But it's broken? Stare into its fractured gemstone for a guiding hand on your journey. Our hopes rest with you. Now, return to where you were. Beat it! Can't you see I have to organize all of my shoes into alphabetical order? I 
not a Camp Sunshine Teddy. It's a creepy looking thing. Dude, you came through. Now I can mix this stuff up. I'm impressed you're still alive. I told you this compound will solve everything. I'm sure of it. Anyway, that diarrhea page is over there in the cupboard on the left. Take it. Glorious, an empty fridge. Sorry about that. Cooking up this potion is hungry work. It's a bag of dog treats. I'll only take ones as they smell awful. No idea why dog food is being kept in the dining hall, though. Oh well. Oh man, there's a severed hand in the microwave. Yeah, I couldn't take it out. I've got kind of used to it, to be honest. You don't want to be like this. This is disgusting. I found a diarrhea page. Let's see what it says. 2nd July, 1969. Each year I am joined by a bunch of college kids who do internships with the company. To be well. A future me, so to speak. Jackie has just brought a hamster so that Isaac has a friend. She's a kind girl and I'm definitely glad to have her and Chuman around to lend a hand. Thank you so much for bringing the hamster for Isaac, Jackie. No problem, Mr. Illerman. Thanks ever so much for giving me an internship. You're very welcome. Isaac loves his new best friend. Great. I'll go get the welcome meeting ready. See you shortly. Thanks, Jackie. Hey, Isaac. Daddy has to go and do the meeting now. Chumana, I have to leave now. No problem, Mr. Jacob. I shall see to Isaac while you are away. Thanks, Chumana. I don't know what I'd do without your help. That was a great meeting, Jackie. Well done, and thanks for your help again. It's really no problem, Mr. Illerman. Call me Jacob, please. Okay, Jacob, thank you. Now we need to go over those resident reports. Could you spare a quick 10 minutes? Hmm, resident reports. Maybe there are some contact details in there for someone who could help me. Although I've carried them around for too long, they seem useless. I'll keep hold of them, though. No problem, let's get this out of the way. Ah, look, Jackie, he's still playing with the hamster. It looks like he's so happy. What the hell, Isaac, no! Oh my god! Hello? Is someone there? Oh, you're back already? Did you find my toolbox? Sure did. Let me get you out of there. Thanks, kid. You're a lifesaver. I was a sitting duck down there. Oh, it's no problem. I just had to dodge the bear, metacaffeine monster. I'm fine, honestly. Can I have that diarrhea page now? I always keep my promises. Here, it's yours. Nice one. Thank you. Right. Let me get back to my duties. Really? Tonight? Remember, maniac? Blood killing? Oh, I'll be okay. I've got my toolbox now if I get stuck again. If you need anything, I'll be in the shack. Take her easy, kiddo. What the hell happened there? <laughs>